Welcome back to my 52 frames challenge. It's week 18 and it feels like I'm back on track. I'm still behind on these photos, but at least now I like my photos again a bit more. This week, we have to toot our own horn and photograph something we've made. For those who didn't see my previous video, I've recently relaunched our travel blog, Wandering Wolves. And with that consuming so much of my time and thoughts, it wasn't hard to decide on something to photograph which I've made. And no, it actually wasn't the website, but more the final chapter of our travel memories. You see, our travel memories takes quite a bit in the making. It starts with the planning, then the trip where we photograph and diarize almost everything or as much as possible. Then I get back home, I have to sort through the diaries, the photos and edit all of them. Then I compile them into categories, write my blog and publish that. The final chapter then is to use all of that to create a travel book and print that into a final product. We've got quite a few travels, but I've only managed to print three books so far. As with everything in my life, I'm behind that as well. And also the printing process is expensive and complicated. My Zanzibar book, although still not perfect, was my favorite and the closest to perfect I've got thus far. Thus I decided to photograph that with an island vibe to it. To create the island vibe to the photo, I wanted to add elements that add to the feel and the mood of the photo, but not overtake the photo. So I decided to bring in three elements, a straw hat, some shells, and a palm leaf. But the trick was to add them to the scene without them stealing the, um, stealing the show or the focus of the photo. We're on our way to community to meet up with a friend and to have some dinner. And I've been looking for a palm leaf to create a shadow for this week's photo, just to create a bit of texture on it. And as we got here, I found a culprit. So they cut down this palm tree and down there is quite a few. So I just had to go and pick out the one that would work the best. So I did. And then Tasha just quickly went to uh, put it in the car for me. gone ahead and placed a few objects at different levels to get different kinds of blurriness because uh, I want the focus to be on the book itself but the uh, palm tree and the hat and the shelves just add a bit of texture and interest to add to the mood of the photo. I've gone ahead, my behind the scenes um, backdrop is the uh, tablecloth which I've pinned to my little laundry rack just to get that white background also I've put that quite you can see there's quite a bit of a gap because the tablecloth has got a texture and is a bit wrinkled but if that blurs out it's easier to clean in post so that it looks like a clear white background and I'm basically now just waiting for the shadows, you can see it started creeping in here, well, for the sunlight to come in. And then I'm going to use that type of shadow to add interest and give that islandy vibe to the photo. I'm holding thumbs to hope that it works out as I've imagined it and that it's not going to look too cluttered. Mm -hmm. 
The other thing is I wanted to keep it on the wooden coffee table. I like the color and the texture and contrast it gives against the uh, light shells, hat and background. The only problem is because of its surfboard shape um, from a lower angle, I'm gonna try and see if I can get it like that. It adds a bit of wonkiness and the sides there and there, I've got a bit of a problem. So um, yeah, and also once the sun comes in, I don't know if I'm gonna be in the shadow, oh, well, in the sunlight. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, so it took me a while, but I think I've managed my composition. If you look at it from the side, you can see there's quite a bit of gaps in between the, well, that's fairly close, and then there's quite a big gap, and then the same as these. You can see they're not on the same plane, hoping for different depths of field. I'm gonna shoot at F4 to start with, I had to try and focus on the book, but still get some, um, and then try to get the other details out of focus, uh, but just add to the story. Now I am just waiting for the sun to get in properly, and hopefully my camera shadow won't bust the uh, planned photo, and I can only use the palm tree. Because I'm waiting there for the sun, you can see it has started creeping up. Um, I have taken a few with my branch lying next to me, Oops. like that. You can see I can make the shadows and manipulate it. So um, yeah, I'm just waiting. Preferably I would like the background lit as well. I had to move the table a little bit to this side because there is a shadow you can see run down there that was running over my book so I just had to um, move it a little bit so that was out of the way. In the end I decided on an even cleaner look by removing the palm tree in the background. I was also careful at how I used the shadow so that the title of the book was mostly in the sun and only framed by the leaves shadows. Let's have a quick look at the three areas I would like to focus on during this edit. The first is to correct the book's perspective to the composition. Secondly, I would like to create a soft and bright island vibe with some color tinting. And lastly, is shadow fixing and there's quite a few. The one is I would like to brighten up the book spine. The dark piece behind the book which was my um, doors frame and then lastly the brownish color cast on the right hand side. I think there might have been a bit of the palm leaf in front of my lens creating that color. probably one of my favorite things and not because I could toot my own horn but because I got the chance to look at our memories all over again and relive our Zanzibar trip and although I can do all of that on my travel blog 
there's something different to it being in a print or book form. And if you've never converted any of your digital memories into a print before, I would highly encourage it, either a print or a book, to go out and create a photo book. Take a year of your kids or a travel and create a photo book. There's something to it. There's, it brings joy and reward and even a bit of pride to whatever happened in whatever happens in that book or print. I might even take my own advice and start to print more of my own photos going forward. But that's a topic for a whole nother day and a whole nother video. So keep an eye out. I might even make a video about that sometime in the future. But for now, that's all for this week. Next week, I'll make another combo week. I'm still playing catch up. But it's three things where I use my macro. So I wanted to zone in on macro photography. Thank you for watching and see you then.